Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Shemayim coming back with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. You know, low will, and this lesson is edifying to the sheep. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. You know, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth, and I still teach it to this day, making their body a living sacrifice out there in the highways and byways. You know, Shalom to the Bayad Dawada and Shalom to the Aqwa staying in order, being submissive to their husband. And if they're not married, you know, just staying in order, man. Not trying to sub, uh, how, how does it go? Um, um, not trying to have authority over a man, you know, for lack of better words. <clears throat> now, let's get straight to, to this lesson, man. You know, this is a quick lesson before camp, you know. Um, and I just want to express to, to the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, that there's nothing more beautiful than this truth, man. There is nothing more beautiful than this truth. Just just having the truth in itself is mercy, you know, because, hey, the scriptures clearly say wisdom, wisdom and knowledge shall be your stability in the last days. So the Lord is, is, is blessing you with this truth, with this light, with this, um, <clears throat> with this, um, um, with this mercy, man. This truth is, is, is mercy in itself. Because the Lord is saying that he's going to take care of you in the last days, you know, if you if you have this wisdom, man, if you have this truth. You know, and only the elect is going to have this truth, man, you know. Um, <clears throat> let's get a couple scriptures, you know, to prove how beautiful this truth is and and, and how beautiful, um, and, and it's an honor to have this mercy, you know, to be under grace by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and, and how beautiful the kingdom is going to be, you know. This is why we should be seeking the kingdom first. <clears throat> this is the book of Romans. Chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You know, because everything that we're going through right now is hell, man. And, and, and first of all, we got to acknowledge our, our, our sins, man. We got to acknowledge uh, uh, that we went off first. You know, in the um, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, at, in the first verse, it tells you that we shall be kings over all nations, you know, roughly paraphrasing it, if we follow the commandments. And then from 15 and down, it tells you, you know, verse 15 and down, it tells you what will happen if you if you stop following the commandments of the Lord, and how the Lord's going to judge us and curse us, you know, put us under curses, if you will. You know, that being said, we went off, man. We as a nation, we went off, man. And, and everything we gone through was for our, our, um, for our uh, purpose, for our sake, you know. Um, and we have to learn, man. That's what a father does when a, when, a, when a father chastises his people is because he loves it, man. He loves his, his children. Why? Because that's what a father does, man. A father's going to put you on the right step, right? And, he's, and, and it's called tough love, man. And everything we've gone through is, is tough love, right? So for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared. The Lord is saying, look, man, everything that you've gone through, everything that you, that, that, that you went through, are going through, and, and, um, and will go through, you know, um, it says that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. And that's just truth, man. Because the kingdom is within us, man. The kingdom is within us. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshai, has revealed, you know, the kingdom to us, man. And, 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 and the beautiful part is that this is this is through the scriptures, through the word Yahweh Shem Yahshai, how the, how the kingdom is revealed in us. But it's, it's, it's even more beautiful that in reality, our, our physical bodies can't um, imagine or comprehend the true glory of the kingdom. We're, we, we, we're not in a, a state, our, our minds, our spirit, hey man, we didn't change the darkness. We can't really comprehend. So whatever truth, whatever light we have, it's a blessing, man, that the Lord allowed us to, to have this, you know, um, comprehension, you know. <clears throat> and the kingdom is going to be way more beautiful, man. Whatever, whatever we can see, cause w w when we imagine nice, we ima look how these look how these at least live. You see all these um, multi-millionaire mansions, multi-millionaire houses, and all this, and we think, wow. See, a normal Jake thinks, wow. You know, but that's nothing compared to what the kingdom is gonna be, man. There is nothing on the, hey, everything on this earth is polluted. That's what the scripture says: arise and depart, for this is not your rest. There should be nothing on this world. That should should keep you out of this, out of this, you know, um, out of this truth, man. Or anything in this world that should keep you from not wanting the kingdom to come. You know, and ultimately, I, I say that, you know, but we know through the spirit that whoever doesn't stay in this truth or whoever um, hears of the truth but doesn't come back to the Lord, the Lord has blinded you. You know, because only the elect has, has um, obtained the truth, man. 
you know? So for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. You know, let's continue, right? Um, I got a couple of scriptures, you know, written down for this lesson. Um, what should I get next? Right. Let's get this right. Because like I mentioned earlier, this is a blessing to have this truth and this light, you know, that, that it's revealed in us, man, that the king is revealed in us. The truth is, is, is um, has been revealed to us. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Hey, man, I'm a, I'm a jealous man. I'm a jealous man. I hate when I see, you know, other people worshiping other gods, man. That shit is vexing. You know, these other heathens, F them and their gods. But when you see your own people worshiping the gods of the heathen, that shit is vexing, you know? And and that's gonna be their downfall because when the when the you know when the day of the Lord's wrath comes upon this world, them gods ain't gonna help you out, man. If you don't have if you don't have Yahweh for Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, protecting you, you know, hey then you you done for. You are literally down um you did you're literally, you know, you're done for, man. And, and that's and that's your lot to play, you know. So the Lord has blessed us with this light, man. This is a light. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hey, man, this is a beautiful thing for for the Lord to to give us this light and for we to shine before before the world, before the man, so that the whole world can can glorify the heavenly Father, man. This is this is this is what's gonna lead into, man. This is what the kingdom's gonna be like, man. In the kingdom, all nations shall bow down, man. All you heathens, all you eat them, you're gonna bow down to your house by Shimmy out shot, man. You guys are gonna be in the shame. You guys are gonna be like, damn, I did that to them people. That's why it is a righteous thing to um I just go, it is a righteous thing to um to recompense tribulation to them that 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 troubled you, man. That's why you go, hey, so it's, it's a righteous thing. You you heathen and you eat them, you're gonna learn, man. You're gonna learn to bow down. To your how about Shimyao shot, man? This is the beautiful thing. This is the this is the kingdom being revealed in us, man. All nations gonna be under us, man. Under your how about Shimyao shot, man. This is what we're seeking for. This is the kingdom we want, man. You know, no more sorrows out here. You know, we 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 under sorrows every day. <clears throat> That's why there's a scripture that says, um, I believe is in Isaiah, you know, um, eight and twenty, if I'm not mistaken. You know, because the Lord has blessed us with this light, man. You see, this is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And this is what your your, your Catholic priest, your your, your so-called Christian, you know, um, religion, you know, um, the preachers or whatever. Hey, man, first of all, they're not preachers because to be a preacher means to prophesy the etymology, you know. So they're not preachers, man. They're not they're not true prophets. They're, they're actually false prophets. They're false pastors, man. They're wicked pastors that scatter the flock, man. And they're going to get judged for that. You know, especially if you're an Israelite, you're going to get judged for that. And if you were heathen in, in, or Edomite, hey, you're going to catch hell, man. Especially when these curses, you know, when because the, the Lord is already flipping these curses on you guys, man. You guys are about to go through some shit as well. You know, and all these heathens that walk around us and these Edomites that look around us, they see us, man. That's why they hate us, because they know we got the light. You know, we are we are a, a, a spectacle to the nation, man. You know, we that light. We got that light, man. They 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 like how the fuck this nigga this went back. You know how he have a beautiful spirit. How his his spirit is shining, man. Look at us like we super saiyans. Right, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them, man. Hey, this truth is not in you. And, and that's why, and it's because you don't fear the Lord, man. So that, hey, man, first you got to fear the Lord so that the Lord can bless you with, with this enlightenment, you know? Now, let's get let's get another scripture. <clears throat> let's get, let's get Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye the... But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. See, these people ain't seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. These people out here, you know, seeking to, to flourish in this side, man. They want this world to continue. You know, they want this wicked world to, to, to stay in its, um, in its course. You know, they don't want the downfall of Esau, Edom, man, the so-called, you know, white man and, and these heathens, man. They, they love their oppressor. They go to Egypt for help, man. You know, and... and, and and because that's what you're seeking for, you, you're seeking for Egypt for help, hey, man, you're going to get destroyed for that. 
You know, the Lord says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you, man. What are all these things, man? The glory of the kingdom, man. Even on this side, even on this side, man, if the Lord, if the, if you seek the kingdom first, the Lord is going to bless you with wisdom, man. And if the Lord blesses you with wisdom, man, wisdom is, 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 um, is, is pleasantness, man. You know, I just went into a lesson, you know, yesterday, you know, talking about wisdom is the principal thing. You know, um, go look into that, man. And it's true, man. So even on this side, by having wisdom by the Lord, man, you 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 in a better state than these people, man. Especially when the evil days come, cause cause it's gonna be our stability. That's that light that we have. That's that mercy, man. That's that kingdom being revealed. Though. That's the beautiful thing of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushat. You know. Now let's get another scripture. <clears throat> you know. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of. Let's get it on um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 39 and 9. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons. See, this is talking about once the once the kingdom is established. Once see the scripture says, you know, um, give no rest until Israel or Jerusalem is a praise in the world, man. And Jerusalem is not a praise in the world right now. As you can see, man, we still going through wars. There's still rumors of wars, man. There's still evil times happening. But the scripture says, and they that dwell in the city of Israel shall go forth. This is when we are, when the Lord has put us back in the land of, of um, that he promised our forefathers. You know, and they that dwell in the city of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons. Why is this? Because we will never fall off our, our, our high power. We once the Lord comes back and takes over, and He is the King, which He is the King of Kings. But He He officially has that title, you know. When um and, and by that I mean because He already has that title. When I, when all nations shall bow down, He has that title. Now all nations know, you know. <clears throat> hey man, we gonna we gonna we gonna gather all them weapons and we gonna burn them. There gonna be no more weapons of war. This is not happening in Israel right now. Proving that those are not the chosen people. The scripture says that 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 once your house shall come back, he's gonna put us in the land that he promised our forefather. So how can we be living in the second covenant right now? How can we be in the kingdom of heaven right now? See, it's a lot of bullshit that that these you know Edomites and these um, heathens and these Christian religion push out, man. Just straight bullshit, right? This is the kingdom right here. This is what we're seeking for. Imagine no more war, man. Imagine no more war. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons. Both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the hand staffs and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, man. And seven years just means completion. Hey, man, we're going to have a complete, you know, burning of all, um, 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 what is it called? Um, warfare weapons, if you will. You know? Imagine that. No more, no more, no more hell out here, man. No more living in hell. Just, just true peace. And this is what the world, this is what the world is seeking. Ultimately, the trees are seeking, seeking for this, man. The animals are seeking for this, man. Jake is seeking for this, man. See, Jake is seeking for salvation and enlightenment and the truth, but they have not obtained it. You know, only, only the elect has obtained it. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shield and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows and the hand staff and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, man. Imagine that. No more, no more military um, weapon of warfare, man. No more. You will never see a war again in the, in the, in the, I don't get it twisted, man. Like the brother Malak said, we're going to have that spiritual power. We're going to have that, that rod of iron. We're going to fuck Edomites and heat us up just to make them an example, man. Let's get this though, right? Because I quoted it. Romans um, 11, I believe. I believe it's verse 7. You know, talking about that. Only the elect is going to get this light, man. <laughs> Romans 11, you know, verse 7. It says, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Because Israel, you know, you two-thirds, man, you, you're seeking for, for the truth. You're seeking for the light. You're seeking the kingdom. You guys got the zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, man. And a lot of you guys are just pure wicked as well. You know, you guys are just do lip service, man. You worship the Lord with your lips and, and, and mouth, but your heart, which is your spirit, is far from the Lord, man. Ultimately, you you are antichrist, man, because you go against the Lord, man. And if, and if you go, if you speak not according to the testimony of Yahweh Shah, there is no light in you, man. 
right? So I'm going to read it again. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yes, the rest were blinded, man. So, hey, man. Uh, verse 8. According as it is written, as it is written, Yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And unto this day, man, our people is blind. That's why these people are zombies out here. Because, yes, they physically move and they physically alive. But they, the spirit in them, they dead, man. They sleeping. They sleeping zombies. They don't have this light. They don't have this truth, man. They don't have this mercy. And that's because they don't fear the Lord, you know? Now, let's get another scripture, you know, and um, get ready to close down before we start camp. Um... Let's get the let's get Psalms right. Psalms ninety one, if I'm not mistaken. Come, Psalms ninety one. We'll start at verse one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. So when you when you have your when you you know I ain't have my pops around. You know I had a, I had a stepfather. You know, but hey, man, as a man, you always want that father figure. You know, to look up to or an example. You know. And it feels good, man. It feels good to have that father, you know, knowing that, that you know, especially as a, as a young boy, you're naive and, and you don't really know the world and to have a good example, you know. But um, it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. When you have that father figure, you know, and, and, and you under him and you're, you're behind his shadow, you're just looking at his steps, man. You feel that protection. You know, it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. And that secret place, you know, is the truth, is the scriptures, is the word. You know, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. See, this is that light that the people don't have, man. Because these people out here, they talking about they believe and trust in the Lord, but ultimately they don't because they see they they worship the, they worship you know the Edomite's God, the so-called white man's God, which is Cesar Bourget. That's why they have no no stability, man. When all shit, you know, when the Lord is just showing a glimpse of His power right now in the year turn up, right? And it's about to, it's about to turn up, man. Hey, mark our words, man. Mark our words, you know. The Lord's about to turn up, man. You guys are going to go to Esau Eden for help, man. Same way that you guys went to Esau Eden when you guys wanted to take the, the, the venom. You know you know what I mean when I say venom, you know? For this crown pestilence. And you know what I mean when I say crown pestilence. You guys, man, you guys don't really have, have trust in the Lord, man. And that's your downfall. That's because you don't got this light, man. You in growth, growth darkness, right? I will say, verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowlers, man, and from the noise and pestilence. What's that noise and pestilence, man? That's when the Lord comes back, and He, and He, um, He, um, because the Lord's going to, Yahweh Shai, He's going to be, His spirit's going to be on the nuclear missiles, man, and, and He's going to be controlling them, and, and, you know, no missile shall, shall be in vain, no missile shall turn back, no arrow shall come back. You know, all, all, the, all the errors, all the misses are going to hit, man. That's that noise and pestilence. The scriptures even say that the world shall, shall, um, shall, shall be like a drunken man. It's going to be moving back and forth of the shaking of the nuclear destruction, man. This is, this is, this is what's coming to the wicked, man. And, and if you have the Lord, right, it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fathers and from the noise and pestilence, man. See, this is that truth. This is that light. This is that. This is that mercy, man, that the Lord has has, has blessed us with. This is why you gotta seek the Lord, you know, first, and all these things will be added onto you, man. Hey, this, hey, it's a beautiful thing, and it's mercy in itself to be part of this ministry, to be to have this truth within you, man. These Christians ain't teaching you this shit, man. These Christians ain't teaching you this shit. And the Lord's gonna judge them, man. And if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall in the ditch. You know, now nah, let's get another scripture. You know, this is the, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get two scriptures and we're going to close out, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears. See, this is the kingdom being revealed in us. This is us knowing the mercy of Yahweh by Shimei You know, so, so 
Hey man, and Yahweh shall wipe away all the tears. This is what we're seeking for. This is what we're seeking for, you know, for the Lord to wipe all our tears away, man, so that the, so that the Lord, you know, can be reigning over us, man. Because when, when the Lord is reigning over us, then we we shall never fall out our power. And this is what these Edomites and these heathens know, man. This is why they they are, they they constantly. This is why this world is polluted, and they constantly put us in a state that we are always sinning. And by us sinning, we shall fall off our power. But once once the Lord Yahweh shall come back, hey, man, we are gonna always be in power. And this is what we're seeking for. You know, when the righteous in authority, and I'm going to finish off with that scripture, but let me finish off with this one right now. Let me finish reading this one. Revelation 21 and 4. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow. This, hey, man, no more death? Immortality? Hey, man. Hey, this this is what we're seeking for. This is what this is what these Avengers, these these anime characters, uh, 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 these DC and Marvel, this is what they get that from, man. Ult the, that ultimate power that people want is that immortality, man. Never seeing death, being in power all the time. And this is what we're gonna have, man. If you an Israelite, an Israelite won't ha won't see death in the kingdom. All these other nations are gonna go through that through the time of death. They're gonna reincarnate, but us, we're gonna live forever. This is the kingdom being revealed in us. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, man. And what's that former thing? The former thing is the, is the way of the world right now. Everything that we've gone through right now, man. Hey, the scripture says the 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 suffering, the, the suffering of the present time is not worthy to be compared. To 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 this um to this kingdom being revealed in us, you know, roughly paraphrasing, I brought it out earlier, man. That's the former thing. Hey, man, this is this is this is that beautiful thing, this kingdom, man. It's, it's a beautiful thing. That's the mercy to have this truth, to have this light. Now, let's finish off with this scripture. You know, this is this is what everybody should be seeking for, man. This kingdom. Seek the kingdom first. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And we are in a state of mourning right now, man. The world itself in a state of mourning. This is how you know we're not in our, in, in our kingdom. This is how you know we're not in the second covenant. This is how you know the people in Israel right now are, are fake Jews, man. Atalo Yahudi, man. They're fake Jews. They're the synagogue of Satan, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn, man. Hey, and the world wants us to be back in authority, man. The scripture says that it is, a, it is our heavenly father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. The Lord wants to give us the kingdom, man. The, if, the, if the Lord wants to give us a kingdom, the world wants us to be in power. See, they don't see it right now. They don't see because they, they're blinded. But, but once we're in authority, trust me, the whole world is going to love us, man. You know, so, hey, man, seek the kingdom. You know, um, pray to the Lord for this wisdom, for this truth. You know, because this truth is, 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 is beautiful. It's the light that the Lord has blessed us with, man. And it's mercy in itself. You know, and, and Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. You know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. You know, and um, Lord willing, on to the next one. I want to say, you know, Ababa Ba, DTA, Kwam Yasharala. Shalom, Shalom Yasharala.